We welcome you to Six Flags Great America in Gurney, Illinois, as we are set to begin the championship round of the GEICO PBA Team Shootout. The PBA and Six Flags Great America have joined forces for the second consecutive summer to bring you the top stars of the PBA in a team format. Up next, we begin our three-match championship round with the only single confrontation of this tournament. Rob Stone, Randy Peterson, back with you here at Six Flags. And yes, this is the only time that we go old school. This is what we're used to seeing all throughout the year during the PBA tournament. Head-to-head -head matchup, and the two captains, coaches, picked two Hall of Famers, Parker Bone to take on Walter Ray Williams Jr. And they were selected not just for the resumes, but also for their success on this cheetah oil pattern. Walter Ray won on this cheetah pattern earlier in the season in Grand Rapids. Parker Bone the third made 150 grand at the Motel 6 Roll to Riches. But I think it's advantage Parker Bone the third. Parker out averaged everybody on the cheetah pattern all of last season. Somebody did their research. Good job, Randy. Walter Ray, what kind of transition do you have to make going from team back to singles? Well, I'm a lot more comfortable with this, obviously, and the advantage is, is I'll be throwing shots every frame, so I don't have to wait eight to ten minutes to see what the lanes are doing because they actually change quite a bit with the heat and stuff, and I'll be able to anticipate the moves a little quicker, I hope, make some better shots, and hopefully uh, put Mr. Bone away. Good point, and good luck. Parker, you and Walter Ray have battled many, many, many times over the years. What do you expect from this match? Well, I don't expect anything different from him. He's going to go out there and bowl a great game. But the only difference is, right now, I'm going to be one pin better when it's all said and done. So I expect a good match, good game. All I can say is let the best man win when it's all said and done. Good luck to you both. Thank you, Deandra, Walter, Ray, and Parker. Here's a look at the championship round rules. We have a one singles match, one doubles match. Each of those worth one point. And then the final Baker-style team match, which is worth two, which means all three matches matter regardless. We begin the singles competition, the Hall of Fame showdown between Walter Ray Williams Jr. and Parker Bone III. Red ball at five for Walter Ray. How'd you know? Red ball at five. Red ball at five. Oh, 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 oh. Cheetah oil pattern again. No cheetahs were harmed in the making of this oil pattern. Thank you, Rob. The shortest of the name patterns is 35 feet. Dry outside parts of the lane, and that's where the players are going to be firing that bowling ball. Parker Bone III has made a bundle of money throwing it up five. With the righty versus the lefty confrontation, essentially these two bowlers have the lanes to themselves. Yes, no they is, do. No one's going to get in their way. No, nope. and, you know, this match is going to turn out to be the first one who misses, loses, because I expect nothing but a boatload of strikes from both players. And so far, both have thrown nothing but strikes. Here's Parker in the second. So much for the strike thing. Leaves the seven. First one that misses. Mm -hmm. Just a beautiful shot here. And unfortunately, the four pin is going to go around the seven, leaving a ringing seven pin for Parker Bone, the third. And you, you notice that reaction to leaving the seven pin. It's almost like he feels right, first here. one that misses, loses. One here, babe. Well, you can't give a guy like Walter Ray Williams Jr. too many openings. All he needs is one, and half the time he makes his own anyways, and will knock you down. Come on, hey. Two in a row. Hey, hey. One more. One more, baby. Hmm? God, I hate to and it's been a bit of adjustment for these guys. They spent this entire tournament bowling team format where you only really get two frames to toss. You throw, sit down, sit, 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 toss, sit, sit, sit. Now it's back to the head-to-head -head format. Come on, Come on baby. Three bagger to open it up for Walter Ray. They've been bowling this way their entire career, so pretty easy to make the jump back. 
Red ball up five. Six pin to the wall, cuts the 10 out. Three in a row. Oh, that was out there. Watch how far left Parker Bone the third gets this bowling ball, but on the cheetah pattern, there's friction to the outside part of the lane, and that ball recovers for 10 in the pit. Parker became the fifth bowler in tour history to make 100 TV singles appearances. Heel. Did that back in 07 and gets another strike. Six strikes, one spare. Randy said to expect a lot of X's. He is not a liar, my friends. The GEICO PBA Team Shootout, hosted by Six Flags, is brought to you by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% on car insurance. Visit GEICO.com. By Six Flags, Great America's Summer's Essential Escape. SixFlags.com. And by Dennis, home of the real breakfast, made just for you. If you like your roller coasters of the old school variety, Six Flags has you covered. The American Eagle, this wooden racing coaster, a true classic. For over 25 years, this double track coaster has given passengers a vast eagle's eye view of the park before careening down a 147 foot drop hitting speeds up to 66 miles per hour. Oh, great view. And we welcome you back. Our continuing coverage of the Geico PBA Team Shootout. Rob Stone, Randy Peterson, Deandra Asbady here with you. Walter Ray Williams Jr. has been perfect thus far as he begins the fourth frame. For those of you watching at home wondering, you know, I wonder what the pros would do on a house shot. Well, this is fairly close to uh, a house shot, this cheetah pattern. And this is what our guys do to a pattern like this. They destroy it. Oh. Oh. He had the slide. Baby. He's got Chula, the fist pumps. Chula, Chula, and he now has five.